<laughs> you make me laugh, Adam, which is weird because you're not really my type. I usually go for alpha males. That's not weird at all because in humans, the very idea of the alpha male makes absolutely no sense. What do you think an alpha male is? A confident, assertive leader who knows what he wants and always gets his way. You know, somebody who says things like, get swole and muscle milk and hi, I'm Vin Diesel. Oh, so like this guy. What up, freaks? Name's Alpha Adam. I'm confident, straight up banging, and if you think women don't love me, I'm gonna debunk the F out of that myth. Attraction to alphas is genetic, comes from nature. I'm like the alpha wolf, the leader of the pack. Hell yeah, I'm bleeding. Well, all of that is wrong, because alpha wolves don't exist. In fact, the term alpha wolf was disavowed by the very scientist who popularized it. The story starts in 1977. While doing research in a national park, a wildlife biologist named L. David Meech seemed to observe that one wolf emerges the dominant male. <laughs> one wolf is the dominant leader, the big wolf daddy. That's the alpha wolf. He wrote a book on the idea, and it became a media sensation. Alpha wolves are real, and I love them, and I bet humans are like this too. Ow, ow, ow! But 20 years later, Meech tried to replicate his research in the wild. And when he did, he realized he had made a terrible mistake. Those aren't dominant wolves. Those are mommies and daddies. Wolves don't have an alpha hierarchy at all. They're just parents. I must alert the masses. Meech renounced the term alpha wolf and spent years trying to get his own book taken off the shelves. Stop reading this. I fed you lies. Alpha wolves aren't real. It was too late. The term had taken on a life of its own, and we haven't stopped using it since. So alpha wolves are just parents. Huh. I guess my therapist was right. I really do have daddy issues. No, no, no. Maybe there's no alpha wolves, but I know crap too. Alpha males are found in chimps, our closest genetic relatives. Weird. You are more aggressive than me, but also wronger. First of all, chimps aren't our closest genetic relatives. Bonobos are, and bonobos live in a matriarchal society. Excuse me, you're in my way. You're basic. Okay, whatever. Those bonobo bras don't mean nothing. In chimps, the alpha male is the most dominant, most aggressive bro. And that means he has first access to food, resources, and of course, mates. Hell yeah, baby. All right. Not exactly. Contrary to popular belief, in chimps, the most aggressive male doesn't always become the leader. Smaller, more mild-mannered males can actually become dominant by doing favors and obsessively grooming other chimps. Excuse me, you seem to have something in your hair. Thanks. Oh. Hey, let me ask you, what do you think I should do with my life? Wait, whoa, what am I doing? Get off of me! I am the strongest, most aggressive male, so I am the alpha, now and forever! No, you're not. Unlike chimps, human social hierarchies are constantly in flux. So you might be the dominant male here, but if you were playing Dungeons and Dragons, it's your turn. Hello, what do you want to do? Uh, I attack with my sword. Your sword? You are a magic user. Do you see a sword on your character sheet? No. Well, then you can't attack with a sword, can you, freak? <laughs> <laughs> Unlike animals, no one is the same type of person in all situations. Human society is much more complicated than that. So to say that this guy is an alpha male or that guy's a beta male makes straight up zero sense. Whatever, nerd. The most aggressive male gets the most aggressive tail. It's true forever, because it rhymes. Actually, research shows that agreeableness, kindness, and generosity are among the strongest indicators of a long, happy relationship. Oh, eat my feet. Those are beta traits. Oh, well, then I guess betas are the alphas of love. <laughs> Enough lies. I am the alpha. I am your god. Leave Beta Adam alone. You saved me. Also, just Adam is fine.